Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really interesting docking station, this is the Smithy Cow H1. And probably this name doesn't mean anything to you, but what about Kwamzi? Yeah, they have partnered with Smithy Cow. And if you don't remember Kwamzi, I will leave a link right over here. We have seen a really awesome triple display for a laptop which is just an awesome experience and now they have co-worked with Smithy Cow to develop this triple display docking station which works with Android, Windows and Mac OS. Now it's targeted mainly at computers like the MacBook with the M1 processor which is limited at only one display output but using this dock we will have the chance to have triple display output on that computer or any other computer that has the same limitation. Now, in terms of ports, it is really rich. We will find right over here two USB Type-C ports, one of which is to connect the computer, phone or the device that we want. But basically, that is it. Or we can connect a tablet, although I didn't try we will be able to do one of which is the power input it will charge the device up to 60 watts so we will be just fine using our laptop working with it and it will not charge the battery it also has this micro sd card slot which comes with a micro sd inside and this micro sd has the drivers that we need for android mac os and windows so what happens is that once we connect our device we will be able to open the drivers just click on it install and we will be ready to start using so really really easy but in the future we can just remove this one and start using our own micro sd that we take pictures and videos and things like that now on the back we will find three usb 3.0 ports limited at five gigabits which will give us a speed of around 480 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes now we also will find three hdmi outputs that we can use up to 1080 at 60 hertz this is the limitation so even if we are using a 4k display which i did test it out we will only be able to output 1080 at 60 hertz the good news is that if we have a computer that it's limited by only one output we will be able to have three outputs right over here the response is great both on windows on mac os and on android and let me say that besides this being targeted at mac os m1 computers computers that are limited the experience that i'm loving to use is with android i did test it out with my samsung galaxy s20 fan edition and although i can use like any other phone that i can just put it on escape mode for example and then or after that i can use it like a computer with a great experience but on the case of the samsung we also have samsung dex which will turn our mobile phone to a real computer and this is something that it's really interesting because with this docking station right over here i can just connect a keyboard a mouse my hard drive ssd and so on and so forth and with something that i take on my pocket i can just arrive to my work and start working on that particular project and then i just disconnect one cable bring the phone home and if i want to keep working at home i just need to connect my phone to the other docking station the second unit for example or if i want to transport the phone and the docking station it's also possible connect it to another display keyboard and so on and so forth and i keep on doing that work and this is just awesome because we are not talking about a laptop and a tablet we are talking about something that we have on our pockets every single day so this is a great scenario for this talking right here now the other scenario is the normal one using a laptop i did try out with mac os i also tried with windows really easy to use really funny to use and the overall just a great experience power input is up to 60 watts so we will not run out of power on any laptop i was using the macbook pro 14 inches with the m1 pro it's capable to charge it without any issues whatsoever did i mention that it has rgb on the fan it looks really more awesome than what it already is on the bottom it has rubber it's a rubberized surface so it doesn't slip on our desk all metallic really great construction link down below just in case you want to check that out it's on kickstarter so you will be able to support the project and get one of these while they are available and that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always, 
I'll see you guys on the next one.